All right, this is one last little short video here. I think I've got everything tweaked. All of the um, sends and returns from the stage boxes are working. So we'll have um, output to the speakers and sub from the stage boxes, input from all the stage DIs and mics from the stage boxes. The Avion box appears to be working, although I don't have an Avion unit to test it with. Um, but uh, that was a bear to set up. I'll show you a little bit what I had to do with that. Everything seems to be, to be, you know, pretty good, pretty easy. I'll be, I've just switched a few things around, but I'll, so I'll be confused as any, anything the first time I try to explain this to people, but just bear with me. I, w I wanted somebody to know what the setup of the Avion was like, just in case I die between mm -hmm. now and uh, Sunday or whatever. There's this um, program that is called a Dante controller from Auditone, Auda something. What is it? Auda. Auda. Audinate. Audinate. A U D I N A T E. Um, and it is uh, so if somebody wants to, you know, install that on their MacBook or something, it might be a good idea to have that so you'll have the ability to do this should I not be around. But it's a. Basically, it's a Dante controller, and one thing I wasn't told by the people at um, Sweetwater was that if you have a, an additional non-Yamaha I.O. on the Dante network, you can't just do like a plug-and-play setup. It has to be a custom setup using this controller. And I'm not going to explain the whole thing to you, but basically, you've got... Um, receivers and senders and these guys here on the left are the NY64 which is the Dante card in the back of the Yamaha mixer the first uh, Yamaha IO box stage box and then the second one and this weird thing in the middle that's named strange is the Avion box so it says there's transmitters and receivers and basically it's how um, these boxes are uh, um, set to, I'll just give you one example of what, what's going on here. Um, the, we're using the auxes in the, in the Yamaha console. Up here right now, we're looking at the, the um, auxes from the Yamaha console. They are assigned, click to a matrix that is the one through 16, uh, I guess you could think of them as the receivers, their inputs on the Avion box, and that's what feeds the Avion uh, Ethernet links. So it, you have to set up a matrix, and the one just above it here, you'll see, I've got the. Uh, it is a. Um, that's the first. This is the first Yamaha I/O, and it, it the six, seven, and eight outputs are sending to the sub and the stereo left and right, so we can have signal at at the stage. Uh, Dax's mic will be coming into the back of the um, of the console, so that doesn't show up anywhere here. And the uh, stream audio will be coming out of 15 and 16 of the console, so that doesn't show up here either. It doesn't have to go through the Dante network, but everything else does. All of the um, the uh, inputs and outputs. So you can see this the the Dante card is being sent. Uh, or is looking at the 16 inputs on the Dante card, which really means it's that's the Dante card equals the board, equals the TF1 console, because it's plugged into that. It's looking at one through 16 inputs, mic inputs or, or line inputs from the first Yamaha stage box, and then one through 16 inputs from the second one. The um, the the Avion box is just is just a a unit that feeds the Avioms. It doesn't have any inputs on it. So anyway, that's basically how it works. It's tricky. Took me a while to wrap my old brain around it, but that's that's how it works. And that's plenty enough for this. We Somebody should get this though. Um, and we can, I, I saved the file, the setup. And so hopefully we can, you know, put that on somebody else's computer as well. Goodbye.